So we could look at this model and say, a problem is a want-got gap for someone. And if we don't clarify who the someone is, then we're going to get confused about what the problems are. Uh, this is why some organizations like to have different kinds of focus groups. They pull together customers, suppliers, uh, different customer segments. They have interviews. What are the things you want compared with what you're getting? And then they try to distill that down into a set of problems. Well, that process may or may not give you an accurate picture and it may or may not give you what really needs to be done for the organization to thrive. It's a well-established process. It's a well-established uh, way of going about trying to get at this issue of from whose point of view do you want to identify the problems. One way to think about this is, could we uh, list the key stakeholders in a situation, whether it's at a team, a division, or a, a corporate level, uh, and I'll show that to you in a moment. Uh, can you then identify, clarify what each of those stakeholder wants and assess whether or not they're getting what they want? So we could use this want-got gap uh, approach as a way to look for overlaps between one person's problems and someone else's. So in a particular case or situation, you might, for example, have a sheet of paper that would say, okay, here's what, the pro here's what the boss wants, and here's what he's got, which where there are gaps, those would be problems for him. Now, if you don't know what the boss wants, well, then that's a problem, and you may have to have an interview or discussion with the boss to figure out what those are. And you could do that for other key players in the situation that you're working on. If you've got a quote-unquote problem at work, or an issue that you think needs to be addressed, I'm suggesting that the first step you could take here is lay out a sheet for each of the key players in the situation. Maybe it's a situation that has impact on their family life and that's affecting their work. And then see if you can fill out one by one what are the want-got gaps that each of these people have so that you can see whether or not any of the problems that the boss has are consistent with and connected with problems that the subordinates or other uh, key players in the situation as well. If there are overlaps, then this is a, way, a place where you could look for win-win solutions. Now, let's also point out that there is another point of view that we can always take, the universal us, people looking at a situation from the outside in. Could be a, a consultant's point of view, it could be Providence's point of view. So if you're a, in a consulting industry and you're looking at a company or a division or an issue, you may see some problems that the people in the situation don't. So again, it depends on your perspective. Can you decide what the key stakeholders want compared with what they've got? So if we zoom in on one of those T account sheets, and you think about, okay, could I identify what, in this case, we'll say the boss, but it might be anyone that we've just described. What do they want and what have they got? And if you don't know, you may have to ask them. Uh, you have an interview and, and say, uh, gee, what do you want in this situation? What is it that you want that you're not getting? Uh, as straight out as that. And this works in relationships as well, I've discovered not just in our corporate relationships, but also in our personal relationships.